Welcome. Hi everyone, I'm the Queen Housewife and I put this budget menu together by request for college students living in dorms or those of you who are living in a situation, maybe you are renting a room in a house from someone and all you have access to is one of those smaller refrigerators and a microwave. Well, this budget menu is ideal for you. You know, you don't need anything like a blender or any exotic ingredients or anything. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing you really need to do is just make sure you have access to a relatively decent grocery store. I used Walmart, all right? So uh, Walmarts are all over the country. Everybody knows when you are either an undergraduate student or you know a med student, a lot of times you have like between 10 and maybe $50,000 in student loans every year. And basic things like nutrition get put you know, t to the wayside. And it's very difficult to do good on exams and study and everything like that if you just don't have the proper nutrition, even though you're most likely very young. So hopefully this menu, this sample menu is good for you and you're able to put it to use if you like the, the way I put it together. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible.
breakfast, I've always liked things like granola bars and cereal and stuff like that. So what I'm about to show you is uh, what I do when I have a few more minutes to make myself something for breakfast. Now, when I have to go on the run, when I was a college student, one of the things I used to do is I used to get like one of those big boxes of granola bars. And let's say I'd take two or three granola bars with me, just stick it in my bag and go eat. On other days, when I had a few more minutes, this is what I would do. Okay, for our first meal of this menu, and actually my favorite, you're going to need for breakfast the granola bars, yogurt, and strawberries. Okay, I counted and it looks like there are about 28 strawberries here, which means that we get about four for each day for breakfast. So I think I will take this one and this one and these two. Okay, so what I do is I take three granola bars. I have one of each flavor, peanut butter, chocolate chip, chewy chocolate chunk, and s'mores, okay? So what I do is I put them in the bowl. So now I have three granola bars in the bowl. So what I do is break them up. You can basically break the granola bars up by just like mashing them with your fingers. Just do that for all three of them. Next thing I'm going to do is add a half a cup of the light vanilla yogurt on top and then add the strawberries on top of that. The four sliced strawberries. This is a pretty big bowl and you've got a lot of stuff in there. So let's get a little bit of granola yogurt and strawberries and give this a good taste. Oh, mm. That is so delicious guys. And like I said on the days you don't really don't have time you can just take three full bars with you out of this 24 count box and just put it in your bag and just eat it when you have a minute. Lunch is pretty darn tasty if you ask me. So if you like pizza, I think you will like this sandwich. The only thing is it's done much faster than pizza. For this lunch, we're going to need the wheat bread, the cream cheese, the pepperoni, and a few slices of tomato. And if you have it, you know, just some salt and pepper to taste. All right, now the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have soft cream cheese to spread. So what I do is take the piece I'm going to have for lunch and just separate that out and let that soften up for about 10 or 15 minutes. If you have access to a toaster, go ahead and toast four slices of bread. If you don't have access to a toaster, that's okay too because the cream cheese is going to be pretty soft so it'll be spreadable on the bread so it doesn't break it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and toast this bread for now. There are 24 pieces of bread in this type of Walmart bread. So on some days you'll be able to have two sandwiches for lunch and on some days you'll be able to have one sandwich. Slice up some of the tomato so that I don't waste any tomato. What I do is I just get this little core out really quickly and then I can use just everything around it. There we go. Now let's get our toast. Now take that cream cheese and cut it into four pieces. And you're gonna thinly coat each piece of bread.
All right, all four slices of toast now have cream cheese on it. Next thing we're going to do is add some of this pepperoni. There are 90 slices of pepperoni in this six ounce bag. So that means each day we get to have about 12 to 13 pieces of pepperoni. Six pieces of pepperoni on each piece of bread, or rather on each sandwich. We get six pieces, and because pepperoni has a strong flavor, a little bit goes a long way. All right, we'll add this extra piece right here anyway, since that is, uh, we get to have 13 pieces on some days, okay? And finally, we're going to add some tomato on top of that. So, there we go. We get some tomato on each sandwich half. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, I don't think it needs salt, but I'm going to put pepper on here. A little bit of pepper on the cream cheese slices. All right. And here you have it, guys. You have two pepperoni, cream cheese, and tomato sandwiches for lunch. Now, let's taste some of this and see what we have to look forward to. Enjoy. Let's slice into this here. Now, of course, one side of the toaster had to be on a higher heat setting than the other, so I've got one toasted sandwich that's darker than the other. All right, so here we go. This is what we are eating in these sandwiches. I can't wait to take a taste, guys. I haven't had this in a while. Mmm. That is so delicious. That is something I could definitely eat each day. It's kind of like a really simple pizza with no preparation. I know it seems kind of weird for, to have the cream cheese on it, but it does go together. Dinner is the only recipe where you'll, you'll need just a little bit of a time commitment. And it's just important to note that whatever bowls you use for the microwave, really make sure they're microwave safe because they're going to be in the microwave for quite a few minutes. And you don't want to have any kind of accidents or anything like that. So I use glass bowls. Uh, I know they're a little expensive for some people, but you know, whatever you buy, just make sure it's microwave safe. Dinner includes some whole grain and protein and vegetables to make for a very balanced meal. Before you do anything else for dinner, I suggest keeping this defrosted because these chopped spinach packages are like solid blocks of just spinach and ice. You can just keep it defrosted in the refrigerator after you um, just leave it out for a little while like on a plate, just let it naturally defrost. And that way you can take a little bit of this each day for dinner. So um, let's move on to the rest of dinner and then I'll show you towards the end how to integrate this spinach in. Now this is a type of brown rice that takes 45 to 50 minutes on the stove top. It takes a little bit less time in the microwave. So I suggest making about a third of the bag of rice each time so it lasts you like two or three days each time you microwave it. Basically, I have one cup measuring cup right here, and I'm going to pour about, um, you know, almost full, not quite a cup. That's probably about maybe eight tenths of a cup right here, and pour that into the bowl. And I'm going to rinse this out really quickly, rinse this rice off. Okay, now that I have the rice rinsed off, I am going to put in about uh, two and a half cups of water. So I had a little bit more than three quarters of a cup of the brown rice, and now I'm going to put in two and a half cups of water. 
just stir this really quickly. All right, let's get our rice into the microwave. Let's cook this at full power for 10 minutes. All right, let's check on our brown rice real quickly. So here we have it, the bowl's gonna be really hot. Just give that a good stir. Now for the next step here, I'm going to switch this to 50% power. You can hear my cat crunching, sorry. <laughs> okay, 50% power for 20 minutes. And so this is a little bit more time here, so um, you really can get a little bit of studying done in the 20 minutes on your bed waiting for your rice to get done. All right, let's see how our rice has done. Our brown rice. Okay, so as you can see, The water has drained and this is actually pretty fluffy and soft. As a matter of fact, I like the way brown rice comes out better in the microwave than I do on the stove top. Let me just give this a quick taste. Mmm. Yeah, hot. <laughs> hot, but I would say that's perfect. Okay, now that the long part of it, the brown rice, is done, we are going to move on to the rest of dinner, which is integrating the eggs and the spinach. So into another bowl, put in about a teaspoon of water. And then we're gonna take some of that somewhat defrosted spinach and place it in the bowl. Okay, so here I have a little bit of spinach. Just gonna break that up with my fingers a little bit. Just maybe get a little bit more of that. Just press that into the bowl a little bit with that teaspoon of water, just to break it up a little bit. Okay, now let's add two eggs into the bowl. Go ahead and scramble the eggs with the spinach in there. Now let's get the eggs and the spinach in the microwave. And we are going to microwave this for, you know, at about 30 second intervals. This is after the second 30 second interval. Okay. Let's check on our eggs. This should be the last time. So you can see here that these are pretty much done. So make sure that you're using a uh, clean washed fork on the last cycle because um, that way you don't have any contamination when you're about to eat it. So what we're gonna do is um, chop these eggs up. Okay, so you can see I have the eggs and spinach chopped up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup of that cooked brown rice and we're going to mix that in to make our dinner. Okay, let's add in our one cup of brown rice. Now this is also where if you are lucky enough to maybe have something like a condiment like a hot sauce available in your room, this would really be a good condiment, but really um, salt and pepper is really all you need. 
you can just do that to make a really good and healthy dinner for yourself in your dorm room and it's nutritious food so it'll keep you should keep you somewhat healthy for what it's worth This meal really takes um, just a little bit of extra time with the microwave, but while you're microwaving the food, you can be doing things like, you know, texting your friends, doing homework, getting on the computer, doing some research while your food's cooking. And then, you know, you're doing two things at one time and you're not wasting any time. Please let me know in the comments how you might modify this menu for yourself all right i look forward to reading what you say and i will talk to you soon if you enjoyed this video please see my full playlist of emergency extreme grocery budget challenges where you might find a menu that accommodates your life and helps you save money in the meantime